Hi, I'm J.L. and I'm the reference librarian here at the Public Library of Steubenville in Jefferson County. I'm going to be showing you some of, some of our databases from time to time and I'm going to start with one called Master File Premier. This is the database that we use if you want to look up magazine articles. And this replaces the old Reader's Guide to Periodical Literature where you had to find the book on the shelf and then look it up in the reader's guide and then you would go to the actual issue and if we didn't have the issue you would have to order it so and so this is a quicker process even though you are using the web to access the this information this is not considered a web resource this is not just something you found through a google search this is actual information that's been digitized as you will see so let's find out how to access it. First you go to our website and under e-resources you click databases. And you'll see there, there are the library's databases and they're listed alphabetically. So you want to move down until you find Master File Premier. And there it is. Well, you can see it has just your basic search box. And if you just put your search term in there, it'll find, find quite a bit. And as you can see, it also has a few limiters here, even on the basic search. For instance, full text, which you should always click, because that limits it only to articles that we have full text available. Otherwise, it will give you a mix of full text and just the citation. Now, if that's all you can find, you can talk to your library, and we can see if we have the magazine available on the shelf, or at least order it from another library for you. There might be some fee for copying the pages and having them sent to you, but if you need the article, that's still a good option. So always click full text if you want the article as soon as possible. Also, there's an option for peer-reviewed. Now peer-reviewed means that the article has been is from a professional journal. A professional journal such as you know, the Journal of American Medical Association or any of the educational professional journals. So a lot of times when you're in college the professor will tell you that you're only allowed to use peer-reviewed sources. This is available for that. But let's say we want to look up just something simple like, I want to buy a new washing machine. And you can see that it's already suggesting that I could use Consumer Reports. And I can put that up there, and that'll search for all of those terms, or I can limit it to, to just Consumer Reports. Now, And so that when I click search, there you go. Here are the results, and it tells me how many results I have. In this case, it's 168. And when I click on the title of the article, it'll bring up the, t the article itself, tell me where it came from, the author, what issue, what pages, all that information that I can put on my bibliography. And then if I scroll down, there is the article itself. So I can read that, make my decision on my washing machine, or just find out more information. I can also 
print that if I have a printer available. I can email it to myself or to somebody who was looking for the information. Or I can just save it to my computer. Also, if I click Cite, you can see that it gives me a few other citation formats. So if my teacher is one of those teachers that asks for APA style, here it is, right there. If they want Chicago or MLA, I have it available right there. Now you notice it says HTML full text over here. That tells me that the article, if I scroll down like I did before, the article will be right there next to the citation. However, some articles will say PDF full text. If I click on that, it will actually bring up a screenshot of the article as it appeared in the journal in question. Very nice, very useful. Some articles don't have PDF, some articles have only PDF. But if I clicked full text, it will give me at least one of those options. Now we're going to talk about advanced search. Now advanced search is another powerful tool we can use. One of the main features of advanced search Notice that it still has all of the peer-reviewed and full-text options, but it also has multiple fields. So I can use what they call Boolean operators, AND, OR, and NOT on that search. So if I were looking for Pittsburgh, and Steelers. If I hit search, it's going to find me articles that mention both of those things. And there, you can see that we have well over 3,000 articles on the Pittsburgh Steelers from a variety of sources. Everything from Sports Illustrated and even more. But Say I'm looking for articles on Pittsburgh, but I'm finding too much on the Steelers. So I notice that I can change that operator to not. And now I have over 16,000. And again, it's articles that mention Pittsburgh, but now they're not mentioning the Steelers. So that's a way to limit or expand your search. And yes, I can put Pittsburgh or Steelers. And suddenly I have over 20,000 articles. But of course that first article that I came up with is still the first. But 
there's still quite a bit. So, this tool is a very useful thing for anyone that's doing a paper or trying to look something up and trying to find something other than what you would find on a Google search. Because a lot of times if you do a Google search, even if you do find a magazine article, they may not have it available for you. You may have to subscribe to that magazine. Well, these magazines that we have in this database are available because we subscribe to them by subscribing to this database. So that's what we're talking about, Master File Premiere. If you have any questions or need any help, please feel free to either come into any of our library branches or to give the library itself a call and ask for the reference department. And we'll be glad to help. That's what we're here for. So, see you at the library.